Good evening, everybody. I'm Tom Kiss, the Inland Insider. We are at Bonita High School. It is senior night for the Bearcats. They are hosting the Ayala Bulldogs. Bonita comes into the game tonight, 7-2, and 2-2 two, two and two in league. Remember, they won seven games in a row, lost the first two games here in the Palomares League, and now they've won two in a row, looking to get three in a row and push themselves into the playoffs. Bonita tonight, they are going to be looking for Tanner East to lead them, as well as Amir Ainsworth and Cameron Lissett. As far as the Ayala Bulldogs go, well, they haven't been to the playoffs since 2008. Tonight, if they win, they'll be 3-2. and two. Four teams in this division are 2-2, two and two, looking for playoff spots. Right down the road in Claremont, they have the Claremont is hosting South Hills tonight. The winner of that game is going to get into the playoffs. And, of course, the winner of this game is going to get into it as well. We'll bring you the highlights. They're coming right up. And then the interviews right after this in the final week of the season as we push into the CIF playoffs. Two teams hoping to get into the playoffs with the win. And Benita starts it off with a great return here. Cameron Lascano tiptoeing along the sidelines, setting up the Bearcats with great field position. But Ayala's D was up to the challenge. This sack of Tanner East by Isaiah Flowers set up the Bulldogs with great position themselves. But they were having ball control problems, losing a fumble here, but getting it back then, their receiver is going to fall down, the ball's going to end up in the hands of Cameron Lascano, he's going to take it back for a pick six, giving Benita a 7 to nothing lead. Then Benita's offense is going to get into, onto the scoreboard, this pass by Tanner East connecting with Devon Jackson, wide open in the back of the end zone. 14 to nothing, Bearcats at this point in total control. Once again, Ayala, problems with ball security. They are stopped by Benita. They take over and East is gonna hit Logan Zilstra. Another view of this one and a 21 nothing lead at halftime. Second half action, scary moment for Benita. Quarterback East is going to run this, and he gets nailed in the head. He goes down, no flags. You can hear the contact. He was slow in getting up, did not return, so the Bearcats had to bring in a freshman quarterback. But when you have Cameron Lascano in the backfield, all you have to do is hand it off to him and watch him run over people, which he does right there at the goal line. Hits the pylon, 27 to nothing lead for Benita after they miss the extra point. Then they're going to get another drive by the Bearcats. They're going to finish this off. Romeo Gutierrez, Benita punches their ticket with a 37-7 win into the playoffs. Benita coach Adrian Medrano and a win gets you in the playoffs now. Coach, talk about that game tonight. Very pleased with the effort that we gave tonight. We've been giving a good effort all season long on Friday nights. Um, even in our two losses, I was really pleased with our effort that we had, and we showed that we played with a lot of toughness, a lot of resiliency all season, so these kids deserve it. Uh, an 8-2 and two season is a, is a pretty good season for us. It's, a, it's one of the best regular seasons that we've had in a, quite a while, so we're happy and pleased with that. Tough moment to see your quarterback get drilled in the head. No call on that play. Coach, talk about that one. Um, I'm not wearing stripes, so I can't say anything about it. Uh, however, he's going to be okay, so he's fine. We're able to get a freshman quarterback in for a little bit, um, and so it was it was good for a young guy to be able to get some reps as well too. So yeah, you talked about that getting your uh, your quarterback a little bit of rest. So you were seven and zero, then you lost two. Now you got some momentum going. What does this team need to do next week in the playoffs? We just need to keep playing with the same type of effort that we've played with and pay attention to detail, control the things that we could control, and I thought we did a good job of that tonight. With Ayala coach Randy Reams, who ends their season on a sour note. Coach, tough to take that one. Talk about turnovers. You know, it's it's uh, it's turnovers. It's it's. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll take the blame for this one. You know, my my, we. I'll just say uh, preparation wise, we could have been a little bit more prepared. It's on me. It seemed to me Benita was pretty flat. The game was for the taking for you guys. You had a very good drive in the beginning. You ran the ball and just couldn't couldn't keep the momentum going in the second quarter. What momentum? I mean, we've got. To, I, I have to create the momentum. I didn't create the momentum. The uh, this game's on me. I, I I apologize to my players. And... Season's over now. What what do you take away from this last game? You know, you're going to go through the whole off season and everything that you need to do what does this need to team need to do to get into the playoffs 
I've got a lot of work to do. I've got a lot of work to do to to change and get these guys get these guys ready to uh, to build to get towards the playoffs. So I'm gonna I'm gonna soul search myself first, and, and then uh, then we'll figure out what we need to do on the field. Here with Cameron Lascano for Benita High School touchdown tonight with a pick six. Talk about that game. Um, they came out strong. We just had to uh, hit them in the mouth first, and honestly, they were pretty good. But they kind of got down on themselves after we scored first and kept scoring and just shutting them down. And they're a good team, but we just came up on top. Tell me about the play where you got the pick six. Talk about that. Um, I was just in the right place at the right time. Um, he was going for the pass, and he ended up tripping, and I was right behind him, and the pass hit me right in the chest, and I got it. And I had some great blocking from my linebackers and corner to uh, score. I'm here with Amir Ainsworth after their big win tonight. Amir, defensively, you guys shut them down till the end. Talk about that performance by the D. You know, we all just rally as a team, and, you know, we had a game plan that we had set, and we just followed, and we bought, we bought into the system that our coaches have for us. You know, now you guys are going to go into the playoffs. you got some momentum going now, winning three games in a row. What do you guys need to do next week to win that game? You know, we just need to do what we did last week or this week and, you know, just buy into our system again and do our scouts and watch, watch film and just go hard. You know, it's tough always on senior night. There's a lot of emotions. This is your last year, you know, there. What, what does it feel like now that your career is almost over? You know, it's, it's surreal. I just remember last year being senior night. I just think it was, like, so far away, and now it's here. And it's just a, it's, it's an amazing feeling to know that, like, we're, we're doing everything we want to do this year. So it's really cool. We're here with Logan Zelstra. Logan, tonight was one of those games. It's senior night. You come into this game. What was the feeling and what was the emotion up by the team? Uh, I just wanted to help the seniors go out on a W and make playoffs and help them reach their goals. So now you guys uh, defensively you get a big shutout. What does that do? What's the momentum as far as going into the next game in playoffs? What does that do to help you guys? It gives us conf confidence and it can help us build on what we did good and also realize what we did bad and gave up a couple big runs and a couple big throws. Let's talk about your touchdown tonight. Walk me through that play that Jake scored on. Uh, it's kind of a trick play. Uh, the wide receiver fly motions across, and I'm at the tight end, and I just pop up, and the quarterback acts like he's going to take it and throws it up. Quarterback to me. Tanner East. Tanner, uh, you guys had a little bit of a slow start. They're in the middle of the season, lost two games in a row. What did that two-game losing streak do to help you guys finish out the season three and two? Mm, well, we knew we had to come out and do our job. Uh, we knew we had to win this in order to get in playoffs, you know, so... What does this team need to do? You're going in as possibly a third-place team. You're probably going to play a first-place team from another division. I don't know what it is yet. I haven't found out. But what, what do you guys need to do next week? You know, we need to prepare. Um, I feel like we do a pretty good job at doing that. Usually all week we'll we're, – we're really good at preparing. So I feel like, you know, we'll be all right. Senior night tonight, there's a lot of emotions going out onto the field. What did that feel like going out, knowing that this could possibly be your last – well, it was your last regular season game. What's that feel like? It's a good feeling. It's always good to win. So. so tonight, the final game of the season between these two teams, Benita ends up winning the game 37-7. to They're going to be moving on to the CIF playoffs next week. The pairings will be announced over the weekend. You can check the blogs and find out who they're going to be playing. They end the season at 8-2, and 3-2 and two in league at press time. We are Actually, at this time, we don't know who they're going to be. If they're going to come in second or are they going to come in third. As far as Ayala goes, they end their season 3-7, and seven, 2 and three in league that's it for randy reams's team for dylan kiss this is tom kiss reporting from bonita high school for the tribune sports